Good morning everyone, welcome to another Mind and Muscle Transformation Diary. This is Adam and I just got another, done with another lower body workout. Uh, coming up on one month of the uh, upper lower split, probably going to switch it up after that. And, uh, you know, today's workout was pretty good, two days into supplementing with chlorine. Um, like I said, you know, everything felt good today, feeling good, feeling strong. Stamina is up there definitely. Like even with like a couple of days in, this is something I noticed pretty quickly. Um, what I wanted to share with you guys today, as far as the workout goes, I did something that you know it's it's not unusual. I've been incorporating it into my routine for a while now. It's uh, dumbbell deadlifts, uh, stiff legged, with a slight slight bend in the knee to take the tension off of the dead joint, but you know as close as perfectly straight as you can with that bend in the knee. Now, um, for this is something that I want to, you know, give an example of the dumbbell deadlifts. Now, these dumbbell deadlifts, I do them at a deficit or like when I'm standing on a platform, so I have like an extra stretch of like maybe one or two inches. And you know, it doesn't seem like much, but it adds up throughout this set and throughout the whole exercise, okay? So, the important thing here, as an example, is the hip hinge or bending at the hip, and it carries over to other stuff like Romanian deadlifts, like the uh, hammer strength deadlifts that I shared with you guys on a previous episode, like, you know, good mornings, okay? So, what's what's this hip hinge or uh, bending at the hip thing? This may, means that you wanna keep your lower back flat, and you want to keep your core braced and instead the movement is going to come from the bending of the hips by moving the butt all the way back and all the way forward and that's basically your range of motion and by that you keep the tension on the glutes and the hamstrings okay this is like what will make or break that exercise as far as you feeling it or not or as far as it being effective or not okay um you know, uh, how effective can it be instead of having to, like, you know, deadlift two, three hundred pounds? You can feel this with like 35 pounds. This is what I usually do for something like this. If I'm doing a, uh, a Romanian deadlift, you know, I'm gonna be using you know, similar numbers to what I mentioned, but with def uh, deficit dumbbell deadlifts, uh, I'm probably using like 25s, 35s, and probably no more than 45 pound dumbbells. So yeah, it can it can allow you to use lower weights and still get the great benefit from the exercise. So make sure to hinge in the hip, make your glute and ham exercises, whether it's a good morning or any variation of deadlift, as effective as it can be. And until tomorrow, stay well, stay strong, stay smart.